Well, you were right. Your family wants me exactly where I used to be. Except they actually gave me the wheels to get there this time. Check this out, Nate. Most unfortunate you missed out on the summer. Good thing fall internships begin next week. Sorry, man. Don't be. It's about time I broke off from them once and for all, and I think I know how I'm going to do it. I just don't know why he felt he had to lie to me. I don't think it was really a lie. Thank you. He said he was taking the subway when he had a limo waiting, and not to mention, he told me he was helping his dad tomorrow when Gossip Girl says he's attending the Vanderbilt's polo match in a Dior suit. Oh, is this the part where I pretend to know what Dior means? I mean, why keep these things secret from me? Is he worried that I'm going to judge him? I wonder why he might even think that. But I'm not judging. I get it. If I had a limo that followed me around, I'd take it too. I'm his best friend, and I support him no matter what. Even if he were rich and dressed like Truman Capote. Yeah, you should probably tell him that. <laughs> I should. Too bad he has that polo match with his family. His whole family? Yeah, Nate's family. And I'm sure Blair and Chuck will be there if the murder-suicide I predicted hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you just call his dad? From what you said, you sound pretty close to him. You say you haven't seen a lot of Dan lately and you'd like to go. <laughs> you think I should invite myself to a charity polo match? Yeah. Just show up. Tell Dan how great he looks in his suit, and if he has room, you love, or ride back to the city in his limo. I've never been to a polo match. Maybe you can get a plus one. Maybe.